Hello everyone, welcome to the Shazazzle Show, uh, Scott here, and I just wanted to give you my thoughts and impressions on the Doom Beta. Now I know that a lot of people have done this, but um, it's a franchise that I dearly love. Doom is my favourite first person shooter of all time. So yeah, let's just crack on. Now upon o opening the Doom Beta, I did realise a few things. Uh, obviously it's only online that, you know, they don't want to give too much away of the story at all, which I, I'm honestly fine with. Um, when betas come out for games like this, you know, I, I don't mind a little bit of online play because I feel like the community then sort of group together more because they're all experiencing it at the same time. They're all they're all experiencing, um, is that even a word? <laughs> they're all, you know, going through this, this mode online at the same time. Whereas if it was a story uh, beta, then I feel like everyone would only be able to see their own opinion on it unless they show it on, you know, somewhere like here, like YouTube. Um, but okay, so first things first, um, I noticed the customization. Um, I'm all for customization on games. I love, you know, aesthetic things like changing the colors of guns and changing the color of your own character's armor. It's it, it works really well for games like Halo. Um, I guess Call of Duty to an extent with its guns, and even uh, at a push, you know, Gears of War Judgment did quite a bit of that as well. Um, I'm not sure what other games have done, but I know Halo is probably the the one this resembles the most. But um, here, I'm really not bothered by it. I don't really care about the colour of my guns or, you know, the colour of my armour. It's a, for a start, it's, you know, it's first person. I mean, I, I for some reason, I do care what my colour is in Halo, but in this, it's Doom. This is the most badass shooter, in my opinion, um, on the planet. I really don't care what the colour of my guy is. I just want to go in and kick some ass. Um... Now the guns, it offers, you know, it's nice to see a little bit of colour on your guns, but I'm not bothered about that either. Like I said, this is Doom. I don't want all the fancy colourful stuff that all get all shooter games seems to, you know, push towards now. Um, I imagine, well, it worries me that they might do DLC for like gun packs or skins or something like that, but, you know, I'm not really bothered. I did notice they've already done a DLC, um, you know, they've already announced two DLC packs, which is a bit worrying. That you know they've they've already you know announced DLC before the game's even out itself. Um, I'd rather like the old days. You know, a game just comes out, but um, you know, completed. But that's that's not the way it is anymore. Okay. Um, what else is that? Yeah, they're just the the color schemes on the armor and the weapons. Just I just don't think they fit this kind of game. Um, I, I get every character. You know, shooting games are like that now. They do like to offer you a bit of customization, and hopefully they don't like put it in like, some microtransactions for colors, etc. But I think they might do. Um, like um, I touched on DLC a second ago, but um, they also have put in taunts. Um, <laughs> now I'm not really bothered about this either, and I've noticed once you do a taunt in game, you have to finish the entire taunt before you can move. You can't just, you know, do whatever. Um, I've also noticed if you, you get you get pre-order bonuses to make us to get the demon multiplayer pack, so they're giving you pre-order bonuses already. I don't like that. I feel like everyone should just get the same thing when they they get a game. Um, although I am getting the special edition with the Revenant statue, but you know that, that's what it is. Okay, so after I you know fiddled about with the the new customization for your characters, the colors and all that sort of thing, I thought I'm just going to jump into the game, and I'll be honest, I was sitting there for a good sort of 10-15 minutes waiting to get into a match that I just couldn't find enough people to play with they're just I don't know what it was if it was something to do with the Xbox one servers but I, I was I was just waiting forever to get into a game um, but once I did get into a game there was no problem after that I mean actually no it's a lie I did disconnect from a game once I'm not sure what the reasons were for that but after that it was smooth sailing every game was fine it was fluid um, you know it was just in and out of games straight away which was good now the maps, very Doom style maps, and I love that. I love, you know, because in my opinion, this game or the beta, sorry, I keep, I must state this is a beta. There's only two modes to do online, um, but the beta does offer you a few, you know, looks at a few maps, and they are very Doom-like. Um, and the gameplay, to an extent, does feel like Doom, but at the same time, it doesn't. It's weird. It's very weird. Um, I've always loved Doom. I love the first three, you know. I've got the BFG edition. Doing Doom on the channel right now. Um, I love the story. And even though the first three didn't really have much of a story in terms of 
you know, you just you just get put on a level, and then you just do another level, and you get little inks, you know, inklings of story throughout the game. Doom Three offered a lot more in the ways of story because of the, you know the power it had to do cutscenes and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is the new generation. You know, there's there are not really any games now that are solely just a, a, you know a single player campaign. Like Wolfenstein, I really loved what they did with Wolfenstein. It was just it, it proved single player campaigns or single you know just a game that focuses on single player can be really good. Um, but obviously with this, I guess they've decided to jump some online and on there as well. And here's here's my you know my verdict is it's harmless fun. It's it's simple fun. It's simple fun. Um, very easy to get into the online. You just kind of run around, you pick up big weapons. Um, I'm a bit surprised you you can start off with a rocket launcher, um, a, a gun that you can you know it's it's very. Uh, I feel like that should be a, a weapon pick up. Um, now the game is very easy to get into online. You just jump in online, um, and yeah, you'll just you know play with a bunch of other people. I feel like this is online is going to be very casual. I hope they've concentrated a lot more on the single player because that's what I'm really buying this game for. Uh, I'll be doing the single player first, so you know concentrating just on that then I'll jump into this I'll jump into the online for doom um, it's very simple fun like I said um, you know as you level up you unlock different stuff you unlock different like patterns for your armor and stuff um, which is pretty cool I, I do like the fact that it, it rewards you for every every single level it seems but at the same time I just don't care about that stuff it's doom um, <laughs> you know um, you have health pickups armor pickups ammo pickups um, you know, the weapon pickups, and of course, the new and ever so satisfying do demon rooms that appear around, you know, around the map at certain points in the game. Um, I imagine, as it's the beta, they've only given you the opportunity to play as the Revenant, you know, the skeleton with the, the rocket shoulders. Um, and when you're playing as a demon, you get a, a huge chunk of extra health, and you know, your weapon is pretty much like a one-hit kill on everything, which is awesome. Um, uh, what else is there? Okay, so you get obviously you get different loadouts now. I mean, every shooting game seems to have loadouts now. That doesn't really bother me too much, um, as it shouldn't, because I just pick a class and I go in. Um, now I've noticed the melee kills in this game. Oh, oh boy, the melee kills! Uh, they are gruesome, and that's exactly how I like it. This is Doom, after all. Uh, <laughs> it just looks, it just looks so good, and it feels so satisfying when you get a melee kill. But unfortunately, most of the kills that um, I'm showing you now are on me. Um, I, you know, I, I did find myself getting melee killed an awful lot, which kind of annoyed me a bit. I, you know, it was my first few games, and I'm just getting beaten down by every single person. It's a bit humiliating, but you know, that's the that's the way online is these days. Um, but yeah, uh, you can get also like different buffs. You can get power buffs and speed buffs. Which make you you know incredibly strong or quick, obviously. Um, but yeah, there's a great variety of weapons, and this is only the beta, so I imagine there's any more to come. There's a great variety of weapons. Um, after you, once you get in the game, I feel like it, it's smooth sailing from there. Um, the combat is fluent, you, you know, it's it's very quick paced. Is what I like. It does feel very arena style. Um, teams seem you know quite balanced for the most part. Um, most of the games I played were extremely close, you know, one team would score 75 kills and the other team would score 69, 70 kills, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and unfortunately I didn't really try the other mode because once I was jumped into the team deathmatch, that, I, I, you know, I was just kind of fixed. It's, it was just really good fun. Um, I was just taken into this, this, you know, gory, you know, online multiplayer world and I had a blast with it, honestly I did. Um, and I really can't wait for the main game. Uh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic in my opinion. I already feel like this is going to be one of the best games of the year. Um, story player is the thing I'm looking forward to most, and especially because we haven't really seen any of that yet. Um, you also get hack modules in this game, by the way. Um, okay, they're, they're like... They, they're very strange little tokens. They offer you different rewards every time you, cut, you, you spawn. Um, and you can keep using them so much that they will, you know, they'll give you, you know, AIDS, that's <laughs> not going to give you AIDS, I mean, <laughs> that came out so wrong, um, I mean, they will give you support, you get ones that show you, you know, where incoming 
weapons or demon runes are. That sort of thing. They offer you just a little, you know, a little bit of help, but they are quite helpful, especially if you keep dying a lot, um, like I did at some points. Um, I never found myself too dominant in this game, and to be honest, I never found anyone else too dominant, which was good. Um, now, usually, I'm a fan of games that require skill, and you know, I feel like the better players are deserved to be top of the game every sort of time. But the, but what I love about this is it makes makes you feel like you're equal. It doesn't make you feel like you're unstoppable, but it doesn't make you feel like you're useless. You can you can run around with any kind of gun you want, and you know, because people have health bars now, not regenerating health. Um, you can pick off the top players, and that'll be, that'll be you know you'll feel good about that. Um, now I don't know what the highest level is going to be in the main game, but in the beta it's 15. I imagine it's 15 because the highest I've ever seen is a bunch of 15s. Um, and I think that's pretty much it, really. Um, I know I've, this, this this has been a bit all over the place. My thoughts and impressions of the Doom beta, but um, yeah, I've had a blast of it. Uh, it's it's not unfortunately open anymore. Um, that's just the nature of you know betas, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I hope there's gonna be it will be a little bit more to it once the main game comes out. I imagine there will be a bit more towards multiplayer when it will come out um, because obviously it's a beta. It's not gonna show off everything it has. Um, but yeah, I really recommend getting this game because it's just re it's re it was really fun. It was really fun. And if the single player controls anything like the multiplayer, then then that's good because you don't feel like you're running too slow or too quick. Um, I don't think there's a sprint, which is kind of strangely a relief. Every game has sprint these days. This game does not have sprint, and I like that because you're always going at a decent pace anyway. There's a great array of weapons in this game. You've got the rocket launcher, you've got the, sh the classic, you know, double barrel shotgun. You've got the plasma rifle. You've got, um, a, a, you know, a sort of sniper rifle, um, and it's, it feels so good and so scary at the same time. Once you come up against a demon, aka in this situation, the revenant. Um, with its shoulder rockets and you feel like you can take it on but at the same time one shot and you're dead so I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm curious are they gonna add other demons into the online once the full game comes out are we gonna be able to choose as a, a slower but more powerful heavy hitting hell knight are we gonna get to play as a pinky demon or an imp I'm not sure who would choose an imp but um, I imagine they're gonna give us a whole host of these you know new demon powerful demons to play as a lot of these classic demons that we've seen now in 3D for the second time. But um, I'm just excited for the future of this game because um, even though I'm not a fan of DLC or microtransactions, I feel like this is a game that I would happily spend money on in terms of DLC and microtransactions. Um, because, you know, if it's something you have fun with, then it's not a waste of money because you're putting your time and, you know, your, your effort into it. So, yeah, I just I just hope this is going to be as good as I, hope, I think it's going to be. Um, I'm just really excited. But, um, yeah, that was uh, my my thoughts and impressions on the Doom beta. Um, so yeah, I hope you know if it comes out next month, early next month. By the time I get this out, the, the game is probably out by now. Because um, you know I'm I'm, very, I'm just really slack at editing and uploading. But um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I know it's something a, a bit different, and I say that all the time as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I've been Scott from the Shadow Show, and I'll see you next time. Incoming Demon Rune. Demon Rune spawned. Allied Revenant spawned. Game.